I really enjoyed uh, what I've seen so far, of course. Cool. I mean, I was just wondering, because it's got such a brilliant kind of, I mean, it's something so unique. I've never seen anything quite like it. I wondered, you know, when you kind of settled on, on a format, because this is something that could have been a podcast or a web series or a series of short films collected into a, a feature. I just wondered when you decided to, to, pre to, to present it in the way that you have. Well, you know, it all started with, uh, you know, actually Apple and Count Plus approaching me with this format, with this idea of like doing something um, just based on, on on conversations and create, and, and I had to create all the stories and uh, and and create a visual language. And I just, you know, for a director, particularly working in Hollywood, anything that if someone brings to you that is new and has never been done before that you can really go oh, great there's no rule book that you just create whatever you want oh, it's, it's fascinating and, and you're always craving for that so um there was and also particularly working with such platform like apple right like uh, you know if it was a podcast something like that i, I don't think it would be that interested but i think here it, it allowed obviously to reach an, a bigger audience but as well to try something uh, to that to do something so experimental with such, for such a big platform and for such a big audience is pretty unique, don't you think? And so it, that's what I was, that I thought it was fascinated. Like everybody was, that everybody just, was brave enough to, to go and try this. Um, and again, the fact that it was no rules, that it could create a whole language of visuals that kind of hopefully echo the emotions that I will create in you like I normally do in a movie, but it's this time I couldn't do a close-up or a traveling shot or a wide shot. I have to translate what that conveys in graphics. Uh, I know it's, for, again, I'm, I'm a, I started in animation myself, you know, I think when I was in my early 20s, so it was a great kind of go, you know, great experience to go back to that thing. And also it was a, it was a show that was done really down and dirty, just like, creating stories, writing script, getting to the actors, working with them on the phone, you know, like talking, everybody was in their houses, uh, doing a lot of takes. It's just a very dynamic way of working that film is so slow when it comes to, and, and, and industrialized in a way that has lost sometimes that beauty of that playfulness of making movies, the reason why everybody in, that work in, in film, the reason why we got into it. So anyway, so it was a real chance to go back to basics, story, actors you know go that's that that was that was a great pleasure for me yeah because i mean as a director there's so many elements on set isn't there you got to think about the aesthetic where you place the camera the props the the subtle looks from the the, the nuances of the actors faces and expressions and here we've, you've kind of been stripped of those tasks do you think it brought about a kind of a different more resourceful side to you as a, as a director well, yeah, I mean, it's, I don't do it myself, but you do it. You know, I, I give you the job of doing all the things you just mentioned. You create all those images in your head. Um, all I'm trying to do is get out of your way, right? I'm really trying to get out of your way. Give you all the assistance I can to boost your imagination and help you get there. But never, uh, the, the challenge is to never step on it. Like, to never do music. You know, Hex and Cloak did uh, the music for it. He did a great score that never invades, hopefully, the, the feelings you're having or never force you to put you in a place that, you know, that you're not that scared and then suddenly music trying to be super scary. I hate that. So there was none of that, hopefully, in the show. And it was all about making you participate. So I never felt it as a limitation. I knew that was the concept and I had to play within those, in those you know, with, within those boundaries. And that was it. But um, it was, again, it's, it was all about the whole deal is make you participate in a way that you rarely do in a TV show, right, to really be part of it, not just with the graphics, but also with the story. Hopefully, I never wanted the story to be literally and so on the nose that there's nothing to figure it out. Uh, all the episodes are connected in ways that you'll have to probably watch it twice to get all the connections. It's one of those shows, right, that there's a lot, all the characters are connected in different ways, um, not just through a story, but even personal relationships that you, you'll need to figure out what, watching it probably twice. Or unless you're really smart and got, got them all at once. Uh, I've run out of time already, so I'm going to go and watch it twice now, I think, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Right. Today, much appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you for talking to me. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey You Guys.